Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a review of the Shengsha 4x4 version 4 that is modded by the cubicle.us on their website they're calling it Shengsha 4x4 VC that stands for version cubicle alright so let's get into what this puzzle is all about out of the box I noticed that it was really gummy and also the outer layers were really loose but I basically fixed that by tightening the puzzle and with the gumminess, I just broke it in. It takes about a few, uh, maybe 15 solves or so to break in the loop so it can be just real nice. Stickers that come with this puzzle are the regular Shengxiao 4x4 stickers. But as you can see, the cubicle, they cut the stickers so they can fit the pieces just better. And it looks nicer being cut also. Size of this puzzle, it's actually the, it's the same size as just a regular Sheng Shao compared to a 3x3. Three three. It's, it's like that. This puzzle actually feels nice in your hands and it also looks nice. It's a nice looking mod. So turning up this puzzle feels nice. The lube in this puzzle makes it feel so, so nice. Um, I would say a bit creamy, but I'm not sure how to describe it, but just really nice. I'm not sure what lube they use. I guess I could always ask them. But this lube makes the puzzle feel even nicer. The speed of this puzzle is not the fastest speed in the whole wide world, but the speed is really good anyways. And you wouldn't really want a 4x4 to be faster than this because it's already fast like it should be. Now I'm going to get into how the turning feels. The outer layer feels crispy and the inner layers are not as crispy. So this is a crispy puzzle but at the same time, like I said, kind of feels nice and creamy because of the loop. Corner cut in. This will probably not corner cut, not even that. Okay, did it. Alright, that's nice. But I forced it. See? And that's because I had to really tighten the puzzle. I'll go into why I needed to tighten the puzzle a little bit in this review. And middle layers uh, cut pretty alright, but mm. this puzzle never pops. And if it did, maybe once, but I really don't remember it popping. But no, I w this puzzle really doesn't pop. Because it's a Shengsha 4x4, and they have um, anti-popping mechanism in this puzzle. Now, let's get into lockups. This puzzle has a lot of lockups, as you can see. I am just trying to do a T-perm and it's locking up. Uh, I'll attempt to do a wipe arm. So that is my major problem with this puzzle. Okay, so let's get into the mechanism and what the pieces look like modded. Oh, I also forgot to tell you why I tightened the cube so much because it locks up so much that I had to tighten it to reduce some lock cups and also for another problem that I'll get into a little bit later. So this is a, a edge piece. They round it off right here. And uh, I guess a little bit right here. And I think that's about it, just here and here that they round it off. For the center, centers they round off right here, as you can see. And I think that is about it. For corners, they round it off right here and here and um, I th and I think here. I'm not sure if they did the con. This is the Florian mod that they did to the puzzle. I think they said they did a full Florian mod on this. I'm not sure if they did the Consta mod with. Consta mod is where you mod these inner pieces. If they did, it's just a little bit. Okay, so now that I showed you how the mod basically look and the pieces, 
Let's go into overall performance and problems. Let's start off with problems. I have two major problems on this puzzle. One major problem are the major lockups that I get on this, or the many lockups that I get. Another problem, this corner twist. I'll be doing a solve and the corner will just twist. So me tightening the puzzle, reduce corner twist, but they still can happen. And also, I, I don't think they really reduced much of the lockups. With the corner twist, I think if the cubicle did less sand in on the corners, maybe that would take away the corner twist. With the lockups, I have no idea how they can reduce the lockups on this puzzle. I'm, I'm not an expert on puzzle modding, but I was greatly affected at a competition with the corner twist and uh, lockups. Overall performance of this puzzle. This puzzle actually feels nice when you're turning it. The speed is really nice too. I really like the speed. I like how this puzzle looks. The mod makes it look really nice. I'm actually happy that I have one of these because it looks so nice. But this will most likely not be my main speed cube because the lockups will drive me a little bit nuts. But there's good news. Justin Mallory, or his YouTube name is JBoogie300, told me that they are changing a little bit the mod. They're changing it up a little bit. So hopefully them changing up the mod will actually make the puzzle just way, way better. Chances are that's why they're changing the mod is so that it can perform way better. I'll have links in the description below if you're interested in buying this puzzle and if you're interested in contacting JBoogie300. Also, I created a Facebook page. I will have that link in the description below. It will be super, super awesome if you guys would take a look and like it. I, I still need to like fix it up a little bit, but it will be awesome if you guys would check that out. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching my video. Have a great time, guys. Bye.